Coach, I think the most obvious question is Houston Harding comes in here today and just absolutely shows for the team. And uh, you know, what would you say about his performance and uh, what he's meant to today's victory? You know, he's kind of, we've kind of played that all year. We were hoping to get three out of Jackson and then just go right to Hootie. Um, but it happened a little quicker today. And it's, he's kind of done that. We've piggybacked it at Alabama, Ole Miss. I mean, there's so many games that he's done that for us. And he's really talented and he, he just has a great makeup. So I was just worried he was going to sweat too much. He, we looked up out there, he's entirely drenched with sweat. So, um, you know, that little break in the game probably helped him out a little bit. He, uh, he pitched great and just uh, three pitches for strikes all day long and competed. And that's what he's done. Um, he has good stuff and then great heart when he's out there pitching. We put some really tough guys on the mound today. Joel Coleman. Chris, I've heard Cam talk before about walking around this place at six or seven years old with, with Coach Polk and to now be a regional MVP and, and to get you guys into a super and a huge weekend. Just what do you think all that means to him and just how big is it for this team to, uh, to have him playing so well as you go along in the postseason? Well, you know, um, I'm so proud of Cam. I mean, it's a uh, – he has had a tremendous year, but he's had some real highs and he's had some lows. And, and um, I just, for him to come out and play the way he did, and he's just handled the game with such professionalism, professionalism all year long. I'm just, um, you know, for him to come out and play this way here at the end, I know him and Coach Goat have been working and spending a lot of extra time. And, and you saw it out here, not only offensively, but made great plays all weekend. And he is, like you said, he's a Mississippi State guy. He's one of the um, I don't think he'd have gone anywhere else. His whole family's been to school here. It means a lot to him, and uh, just a special day for him and his family. I'm really happy for him. Go to Tyler Horka next. Tyler? Chris, getting back to Hootie there, obviously we saw him uh, try to start against Missouri. I think that was his only SEC start, and it didn't go the, the way he planned it to. But do, do you think he's, he's right there, ready to be that third starter, or what's kind of holding him back from that? Or just kind of how do you see him playing out the rest of this postseason? Yeah, I, I'm, you know, he could be. I mean, he's one of the options for us. I mean, we really – we haven't found that real piece yet, but um, he could be one of those guys. I mean, he's been a starter for us in the midweek, so I don't – I have all the confidence in the world for him to run out there and start. I just got to look at matchups and who we're playing. And um, I like him in the role that he's in. He's that good long guy, and he's pitched great in that role for us. Usually when we get him in the game and we have a chance to win, we win uh, with him out there. So we could use him in a lot of different ways. John Sokoloff. Chris, what's your like biggest overall, I guess, takeaway from the weekend as a whole and then heading into, obviously, Supers Notre Dame? Where do you kind of feel that your team's kind of at? I feel we're in a, we're in a really good spot. I mean, we, um, we played really good baseball, you know, most of these games. We had a tough first inning today, and you take that out of there. And, uh, man, we pitched and defended at a high level. We had a lot of big swings. Um, I, I like where we're at. We've got a tough weekend coming up. There's not an easy super regional in the country, and we feel like we got one of the hottest teams in the country coming in here. So we're going to have to have a great week of practice and, and get ready to have another great weekend. But um, I like where we're at right now. Our team's in a good spot. Back to Steve. Coach, back to Hootie. You had the bases loaded situation there and felt like surely they'd get a run home with a sack fly or something, and he didn't give them anything. Really seemed to be a turning point in the ball game. You know, what, what, what did you see at that moment? And, you know, how did you feel about his performance in that respect? You know, at that point in the game, you feel like it's going to be a high scoring game. And, um, man, he started attacking with the fastball and really put them on their heels. And, and uh, the energy that he brought into our dugout once he struck that third guy out. Um, and I, I felt pretty good at that point. I mean, it just, uh, you know, the two walks and then the base hit and then, you know, him striking out three dudes is, it was impressive. I mean, and it was, um, it was one of those moments in the game where we come back in and we're excited and we end up scoring more runs to take the momentum. So um, it was a big part of the ball game, maybe the biggest. Got time for a few more if you have them. Go ahead and utilize that raise your hand function if you have them. We'll go to Steve to wrap it up. Steve, go ahead. Coach, uh, five straight Super Regionals for Mississippi State Baseball. And in the past, you've always said it just because you've had some coaches some really good coaches come ahead of you. Well, you've, you're two for two now. So, I mean, what do you feel about the tra trajectory of this program and, and uh, you know, the fact that the Mississippi State baseball is, again, among the national league? Well, the message all week to our guys has been, this is where you belong. This is where Mississippi State's supposed to be. And, um, you know, like, it's, it's all about the players. And then the other piece I kept telling them is the coaches can't help you this week. I mean, this is players win championships, players win regionals, players win super regionals. 
And um, man, five years in a row being in a super regional. Well, what an impressive run. And, and that runs by a lot of different people. A lot of people have their hands in that. And um, for us, we're excited to be here. We still got work to do, um, but it's a, it's a nice feeling and being able to, you know, once you're hosting these things and the experience it brings to the entire program, because um, we're, we're a pretty young team in some ways. We do have a couple older players, but a lot of kids, this was their first regional. So uh, for them to experience it and play the way they did, I'm fired up for those guys and looking forward to the next weekend. Appreciate the time.